is going on YouTube. So I am currently in the car right now. I'm about to go inside and I'm gonna hit a pull workout. So a back workout, biceps, some traps. I'm gonna take you guys through that entire workout, tell you guys what sets and reps I'm doing, so you guys can actually follow along the workout, uh, give you guys some tips, let you guys know what I'm thinking throughout the workout. But one thing to mention is that last workout that you guys saw that I did with Wadi, I have not trained that hard in like fucking three years. So I'm pretty sure I tweaked my shoulder in some way. Like my chest and shoulders were so sore for a while. And then when the soreness started to subside, oh, where are they? I realized I just destroyed my shoulder. What? <laughs> are they really sore? What? Are your shoulders sore? My shoulders fucking sore. I just woke up. Like I, I guess I think I'm getting so big. You're jacking it too hard. No, I wasn't jacking it. But I, I, I think what happened is I'm getting so big again that now when I slept on it wrong, I'm like, I'm just so big. You're that so it, big. You're so big, yeah. Yeah, that it like crunched yeah. it. But yeah, that's it. Something sure. happened. I don't know. But I'm hoping it doesn't impact the pull day. The philosophy that I try to do with my back days is I like to do a horizontal pulling movement and then a vertical pulling movement and then go back and forth. Or I could do vertical first, then horizontal. And then I like to end with kind of some biceps and some traps so that's what i'll probably be doing that is what i'll be doing today i'm not sure exactly what movements we're going to choose um but yeah that's going to be kind of the structure of the workout and it, that is how i recommend you guys essentially structure your back workouts is you know uh, flip-flopping because when you're doing a um horizontal pull down that's going to help uh with with uh with generally more and then the vertical pulling movements are going to help with density and thickness of the back so you don't really want to go too heavy on one or the other because obviously you're going to be disproportionately wider or disproportionately thicker and not as wide so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing your back workouts is to make sure you're getting enough of both movements also another really quick exciting thing i want to mention is i'm pretty sure i've locked in the uh, show date that i'm that i want to do which is super super fucking far away i think I, my goal is going to be to do the uh, Denver Pro Show because I live here in Colorado right outside Denver. And that and it, the show's in June, so it's not going to be this June, but next June. And my goal is pretty much to, in January, you know, do a cycle. Then your life becomes it's like, really? I didn't mean. Jeez. So what my goal is to do is start a cycle in January, do 16 weeks, then come off for 16 weeks, then do another 16 week cycle, and then another basically 16 weeks off, in, and then go right into the prep. So that leaves me at like a four, uh, four month prep as well. And obviously we'll be doing a cycle for that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, just to actually get the true density, maturity and size back that I'm gonna need to compete at the pro level, I believe that's the kind of time frame that I need and, and you know get a couple uh, cycles under my belt and just pushing, training, eating right, et cetera. So yeah, we'll see how that plays out and hopefully, and, and you know, I mean, the, the plans could change if I'm like progressing way faster than I, than I think, or, you know, who knows? So there's definitely different things that could happen, but as of right now, that's what I'm thinking. And the goal would be to do that show and then qualify for the Olympia that year, which would be June, July, August, September, so probably like three to four months later would be that would be. So I'd, I would have a few weeks to kind of recover a bit, then like go hard again into prep. But again, I have no idea where I'm going to match up, honestly. So, who, you know, I have no idea if I'm going to be on that level yet where I'm going to be able to get to an Olympia. Um, but if not, then I'm just going to go back to the drawing board and hopefully, you know, make it happen next year. So yeah, that's the current plan. And we're going to go in here right now, hit a back workout. And if you guys have any questions at all or, you know, want to see certain things in the videos, then just, yeah, comment below and we'll make it happen. So are you filming this YouTube on your phone? Yes. <sighs> I love the poor quality that you're giving your, your, your fans. It's great quality. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. The iPhone is incredible quality. I'm joking. It's you don't amazing. need to tell make make the people think they need a three thousand dollar camera setup. No, you don't. I, I never film on a camera. I film on the phone. Exactly, and you have yeah. a million fucking followers somehow. I don't know how, but anyway, it's a beautiful day here <laughs> in Colorado. My gym, the outside You're of my the fucking ugly. Well, the out. I was gonna say the, it's a beautiful day, but <laughs> beautiful the day. outside of my gym. Here's this ugliness. So the outside of my gym, it actually looks like a fucking prison it, it truly does so but that's beside the fact it's a prison where you just get jacked out of your fucking mind so it works little fit check 
Today we got the Nike shoes on, not sure what they're called. Anaka joggers, which I really fuck with these ones. And then a super slept on company in the men's fitness space, Vitality Pump Cover. They have the best quality stuff. It's like Lulu level stuff. It's more kind of high end, I would say, than like a lot of the other brands, but really fucking good quality. So check out Vitality. And then yeah, these Anaka joggers, I'm not sure which ones they are called, but if you can see them, I do recommend you check them out on their site. They're fucking dope. So we got a little uh, Alani new sh um, energy drink that I don't recommend you guys do. These are shit for you, but I'll do it once in a while. It's a weekend right now, so I'm celebrating. But anyways, let's go jump into this back workout. All right, so I did not record my warm up routine, but what I did, and this is something that I always preach, is hung on the pull up bar three sets, 20 seconds, just to really like loosen up my back get some decompression in the, sh in the back and then also loosen the shoulders up. Rolled out some adhesions so I feel a lot looser. And then I also just did like 20 to 30 like air squats just to kind of get the heart rate up a little bit, get some blood flow going throughout the body. The first movement that I'm gonna do today is gonna be four sets um, of pull-ups slash chin-ups. So I'm gonna do one set uh, pull-up and then one set chin-up, one set pull-up, one set chin-up. I actually like this method a lot because, you know, when you're doing the pull-up or chin-up, it's gonna target a little bit of different areas in the back. So you're gonna get a little bit more activation throughout the entire back. And yeah, it's just a fun little way to kind of spruce up the pull-ups. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, I'm gonna aim for about you know, 12 reps, 15 reps on each set and just trying to get full range of motion, make sure that I'm really squeezing the back. Uh, a lot of times I see people just kind of going through the motions, yanking themselves up and down the pull-ups. What you really wanna focus on is actually keeping tension throughout the entire time uh, of the entire pull-up or chin-up. Make sure that you're not, you know, swaying, that you're not, you know, just th like I said, just kind of throwing yourself up and down, kind of doing a kipping pull-up. We're not doing that. We're bodybuilding here. So we want to really squeeze and just kind of feel, feel the pull-up. And if you can't do these, great alternative is the assisted pull-up machine. The assisted pull-up machine is phenomenal. Highly recommend you guys try that out. Even if you do that as kind of a finisher for a back day, that's a great, you know, movement, you know, even if you can do 20 real pull-ups. So yeah, check out the assisted pull-up machine, faux show. Also, a lot of the time I'll get shit from you guys for like half repping, but what you see right there is instead of extending all the way down in the pull-up movement, what I'm doing is I'm stopping at a certain point to keep tension on the muscle, and I'm choosing to do that because at the bottom portion, I'm losing that tension on the muscle, and not to say it's bad to do a full pull-up with 100% full ROM, it's just not what I'm doing today. Um, there's days that I do do like the full ROM, but yeah, today I'm really trying to go for the time under tension and squeeze. So I'm just focusing heavily on, uh, you know, keeping the tension on the muscle. Yeah, man, I don't see as many people doing pull-ups anymore. And in my opinion, pull-ups are, you know, one of the best things you could possibly do to get a bigger and better back, especially when you work up to doing Weighted pull-ups as well. Weighted pull-ups are phenomenal. Yeah, to really just grow a thick, developed back. Do your pull-ups and chin-ups. Fucking short. Can't fucking get myself up. Damn it. <sighs> Dang it. Carrying that extra weight that I've put on does make it a little heavier to do pull-ups. I'm curious if you guys are liking, you know, these videos. This is the third one. So I'm curious, yeah, how are you guys liking these videos so far? And again, I think I already said it in this video, but what else would you guys want to see? Definitely drop your comments, let me know, because I want to make sure you guys are getting good value out of it and entertainment on the way to going to the Olympia and fucking taking that title, baby. That's, that's, uh, that's high ambition, but you know what I mean. Goals, pro show. Olympia. Obviously, I always want to win. So, 
but a fun journey. We got the pump cover off only two sets in because I took two scoops of a pump product. And honestly, I used to think pump products were bullshit, but they fucking really do work. Like I, I, when I take a pump product, a good one, I get pumped like immediately and I do actually stay pumped. I, I don't know. I just used to think it was bullshit, but it does work. All right. Trina, do I look, do I look small as fuck or? Yeah. Warp me, warp me out a little bit. Give me some warp action. By the way, just so you guys know, I'm not small, and my wife just has terrible angles. We do actually have a pump, and look like we lift weights. It's simply just my wife's trying to make me look small in those angles. But on a serious note, it is kind of crazy, like how fast muscle memory does work. Like my size is coming back way faster than I would have thought. Not even being on a cycle yet, I'm still on 90 milligrams a week of TRT. And yeah, we have a pretty good physique going right now, honestly. So just give me a couple more months. Let me get back to old big cheese farm. All right, boys, last set, best set. Half rep McKenna. The half rep king's about to come out right now. Right, guys so the next movement we're gonna do is the Smith machine right here um, I'm gonna be doing rows Smith machine rows now the thing is a lot of people don't like Smith machine they like to stay away from it you guys saw a couple videos ago if you were watching I actually did bench in the Smith machine I really like the Smith machine and I feel like it helps me drop my ego so with that said I'm gonna go here do the Smith machine we're gonna do like four to five sets I'm gonna start lighter go heavier and then drop down to lighter again. And really the whole goal is gonna be, you know, bending over as much as I can. And then, yeah, the goal is have my arms all the way out, bring my elbows straight up and really squeeze on the back, not being that worried about what weight I'm doing and focusing just on really squeezing the back. And this, I feel like this movement will fucking blow your back up. All right, guys, so the first set is gonna be 20 reps, so. We're just going to warm up on this movement, see how it's feeling for the day, see what weight I'm going to want to use, you know, for my other sets. We're going to be doing a set of 20. I have one plate on here. And again, the goal is just really feel the movement, squeeze, squeeze that muscle, and just try and think about contracting, just really feeling the muscle throughout the entire lift and not just slopping the weight around. I say that all the time, but it's what I used to do. And ever since I started being more mindful with just, you know, how I'm lifting the weight, you know, thinking about the muscle that I'm hitting while I'm training it, it, it really does help. So yeah. Anyways, no more wishy woo woo shit. Today, I'm feeling like I'm gonna stick at 185 and less um, just to get more reps. I wanna do more reps today. One thing I also wanna mention is you guys are gonna see I'm not able to extend that far down on this one because there's like pins that block the Smith machine from going all the way down. But if yours doesn't have that, I highly recommend going a little lower than you see me going right now um, and, and really stretching the back a little bit more. Ooh. Fuck. 
A little physique check. If you do this workout right and take a pump product, you will get what you're chasing, fat pump. Also, the rest times for, the, for this movement should only be about 60 seconds to you know, 80 seconds. Very brief rest times, uh, just hammering the fucking muscle. And you don't have to go to full failure, but very close to failure, if not failure, on all these sets. This will be set number three. We're gonna go for another 10, and then I'll do another set on this and then drop to 135 again. For this set, I think I'm gonna do actually, yeah, I'm gonna do underhand. So we're gonna do underhand for the set. Just actually, you know what? No, we're not. No, we're not. Drop right away to one plate. Drop set. Whew. We're gonna go right into one plate. This is where you gotta fight. Five more. We are gonna go check my weight right now. I've only had one relatively small meal. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I have these sweats and a beater. Let's go see what I weigh real quick. So probably my morning weight right now is 191 pounds, 190, 191 with no clothes fasted. I usually wouldn't do a pull down and a pull up in the same workout, but today we're gonna do it and you guys are gonna do it too if you try this workout. So we're just gonna focus here on the same principles, squeeze, nice solid range of motion here. And what I'm thinking about when I'm doing these is pulling my, is not pulling with my biceps, but just pulling my elbows straight down and you want to bring the bar above your nipple. I see a lot of people bring the bar too low. You want to come down, get a little bend, retract the scapula, pull the bar above the nipple. Right there. Jesus. Mommy, help me. Oh boy. Ah. Three more. Ah. Oh, we're taking low rest periods today. A lot of people I train with that think they train hard, okay, when they start doing one minute rest times with me and pushing to near failure or failure on every set, you know, it's a lot harder than we're used to. So really try this method out, see how you guys like it. And you'll also get more cardio as well during the workout. I'm not saying you don't wanna rest and let the lactic acid kinda die down a little bit and be as strong for your next set, but there's a time and a place for these types of workouts with low rest and just pushing yourself hard as fuck every set which is pretty much all my workouts, but I always say, you know, I, I, I never like to say one thing is the best. Some people work better, you know, going heavier, longer rest periods. Some people work better doing this style. So you gotta figure out what works for you. Try everything and ultimately, you know, you wanna have variety in your routine so you can do it all. Heavy weights, low rest time, 
quit, you know, less rest time, push yourself more to failure. Let's get 12. Six more. One. Yeah. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Ah. For the last set, we're gonna do what's called the 10-10-10 method. So, hold on, I'm gonna lower the weight. So what you're gonna do here is 10 reps, 10 second rest, 10 more reps. So this is a method you can do with pretty much any movement. Works really fucking well to burn the muscle out. This will be my last set of back for the day and we're gonna move on to traps and biceps. So yeah, this is a brutal one. So I can do it. All right. Gone to half rep, suck it. This is the true way to get massive lats. What my wife's doing right now. Get you fucking massive. Just kidding. If you ever, do, you got a fucking ball in between her legs? What? I was telling this is the true way to get a massive back. Now, three by 20 shrug. Up? Not really. <laughs> Never had good biceps. Maybe one day. Gotta keep practicing. Basically, I'm just gonna be the total superset here with three sets on um, simultaneous arm uh, dumbbell curl and then the shrugs. You could do cable shrugs, dumbbell shrugs, barbell shrugs. Doesn't really fucking matter. Just do something because I see a lot of people, they have disproportionately small fucking traps and it just doesn't look good so make sure you do shrugs i mean if you're fucking hitting everything else hard do shrug really and walk right in front of my thing it's very rude i'm just kidding what huh? i'm kidding you can go whatever you want i'm giving her a hard time because she said i was small today all right oh, all right let's get it ah remember elbows tuck to the body okay full extension ah. Ah, don't sway them don't fucking sway those elbows. Oh, or I will fuck you up. Oh no, I'm swaying. I'm swaying. One. 